Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's September, which means it's still self-care awareness month. So this week I talked to my friend Chloe about traditional Chinese medicine, which includes acupuncture, uh, and just wanted to get her thoughts on it. And it's something that I don't know too much about. So let's get started. I'm gonna use my notes today. As usual, you can head to breocd.com to get the full article and um, little charts on how traditional Chinese medicine helps you, what ailments uh, you know specifically to look at. So she says, she starts off with that meme that says, sometimes I go to the gym and eat kale, and other days I sit on the couch and watch Netflix. And she said, that meme is funny, but it's also very relatable because that is the point of traditional Chinese medicine, is to find that balance, to find that yin-yang and live a balanced lifestyle. She says that basically, if you found yourself reading this article and interested in it, you are looking to be more balanced. You are looking to take care of others. And the whole thing of traditional Chinese medicine is how do we take care of others is by taking care of ourselves first. It's just like when you're on a plane um, and they say, take the oxygen mask and help yourself before helping other children. You can't help others if your cup isn't filled. So this is what traditional Chinese medicine is all about, is healing ourselves and our pain to help us and help us have better relationships with other people. So I was so surprised when I read that, but it's so true. She says that traditional Chinese medicine basically helps us have better relationships with other people. And why is that? Because when we take away our pain and live a balanced life, we are able to be more loving, more accepting of other people. So like if you have a headache, all you can think about is that headache, right? You can't you know, be helping other people because all you can think about is your own head. Well, you fix and alleviate that pain and that goes for any pain in your body. You fix and alleviate that pain and now you're free to be loving. Now you're free to serve other people. So basically, her whole thing around traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture is fill your own cup, heal your own body and live in balance so that you can serve other people. So she says traditional Chinese medicine is the balance of opposites. So within this medicine, there's acupuncture, there's nutrition, there's herbal therapy, meditation, exercise, and also massage, which we'll get into massage more deeply next week. But, um, you know, and there's traditional Chinese practice practitioners, and there are acupuncturists that if you like anything that I say today and you are interested, find yourself a licensed Chinese practitioner or an acupuncturist because they personally should be looking at your whole entire body and all of your ailments and other things that are going on in your life and they will create a specialized treatment plan for you. So this isn't just like you go in, you stick some pins in and you're done. This is based on you and what your body needs. So they're saying like if you have neck pain, they're not just going to look at the neck pain because it's usually with something else. So they say you can't just treat the patient or just treat the illness. You need to look at the overall patient and overall story of what is going on. And that is the basis behind traditional Chinese medicine. And this helps with not just pain, but infertility, stress, um, digestive issues like IBS. It helps with so many more things because it keeps your whole body in line and in tune with each other. So. Basically, she says, we can't be in a state of suffering and service at the same time. So I, you know, and I kind of went into all that, but I personally have started going to acupuncture the last two months for a big reason that I don't want to share right now yet, yet, um, but also for my TMJ. And I was in a car accident back in 2009 and I, I've had a lot of issues with my teeth because of it, but my jaw was always fine until a couple years ago. Um, and it like literally punches me in the face. I actually have a bruise right now from acupuncture. I think it just hit the bone, but I'm going for acupuncture and it's been helping my jaw. So it has, she, she puts them in a bunch of different areas, but my jaw hasn't been locking out and punching me in the face as much as it was before I started it. So I'm really seeing the benefits. And when I'm not afraid of my jaw punching me in the face, I'm a lot happier. I'm a lot loving to other people. So she's totally right that, you know, acupuncture, tra traditional Chinese medicine really helps with other relationships. You need to serve yourself, that's the moral of the story, 
fill up your own cup before you can fill up other people's and you will lead a balanced, healthy lifestyle. So again, if you are interested in any of this, you can reach out to Chloe, um, at Chloe Hom, H-O-N, so C-H-L-O-E-H-O-M on Instagram. You can find a traditional practi- pra- Chinese practitioner, I don't know why I can't say that, or an acupuncturist. Just make sure they're licensed, do your little research, get recommendations. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Remember, fill your own cup before you go filling others and everybody will live in balance and a happy life. So head to BrieOCD.com for the full story. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please tell your friends, help is wealth people, self-care awareness month, start today. You are the most important being. So fill up your own cup and then help others. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. Peace.